Meghan act tragic end after Harry angrily divorce for shocking secrets, bitterness for the predator. Prince Harry is more of his own man when out and about without Meghan Markle, a body language expert has suggested. The couple, who live in the Montecito neighborhood of Santa Barbara, California, have looked to integrate into the community of their new home. Prince Harry, who has played polo since childhood, regularly plays the sport for the local team, Los Padres. He plays alongside longtime friend and professional player, Nacho Figueras. During a match with the team earlier this month, body language expert Darren Stanton noted a confidence and resilience in the Duke that is not always present at engagements with his wife. The Duchess of Sussex, 40, was not at the match. Mr. Stanton told, Harry seems to be more of his own man when attending events on his own, as he has a confidence and resilience we don't tend to see when he's accompanied by Meghan Markle. Mr. Stanton pinpointed sport and competition as the areas in which Prince Harry appears genuinely most happy. He said, it's really interesting that Prince Harry appears always at his most relaxed and genuinely most happy when he's either at the Invictus Games interacting with all the other athletes and attendees, or at other sporting occasions such as the polo. When Harry is on his horse, you can see the determination in his face to do well at heart. Prince Harry is a founding member of the Invictus Games, a competition for wounded or sick armed service personnel and veterans. The Games, first launched back in 2014, most recently took place in The Hague in April, with the Duke making the trip to the Netherlands with Meghan for the event. He spent a decade in the military himself, completing two tours of Afghanistan. Mr Stanton added, Harry is a team player having been in the military, so he sometimes must find it quite hard to be in California away from loved ones in the UK. However, at the weekend polo game his face was one of absolute elation and happiness as he played the sport and mingled with others. With his whole face engaged and his crow's feet visible at the side of his eyes in photos from the event, it's clearly a genuine feeling of happiness. During the match, Prince Harry was spotted chatting with Canadian music producer and musician, David Foster, who was watching from the sidelines with his wife, Catherine McPhee. Mr Stanton observed Prince Harry spoke with David Foster, with whom he appears to have forged a great friendship. You can see the excitement in Harry's body language when he's talking with David. Meghan Markle may find it terrifying that her ex-husband with an axe to grind could shed new light on their past relationship in a tell-all book, a royal expert claims. The Duchess of Sussex is thought to be bracing herself in case former partner Trevor Engelson is set to share the remarkable story of their near-decade-long relationship which culminated in two years of marriage. The bombshell book, set to be written by Brit biographer Tom Bauer, could include comments from Mr. Engelson who has previously spoken about their relationship, The Daily Star reports. Last year Mr. Engelson, a film producer from New York, revealed that Meghan made him feel like a piece of something stuck to the bottom of her shoe by the end of their marriage. Mr. Bauer told Closer magazine at the time, similarly, she cut off her ex-husband when her career started taking off. She seems to me to be a very ambitious, unforgiving person. His latest book is reportedly set to focus on the Suits star and aims to shed light on what Meghan is really like from the perspective of her ex-husband, which royal expert Neil Sean believes the Duchess may be nervous about. This must be terrifying for Meghan Markle, herself because obviously, they've got an axe to grind, some may say, but on the other side of the coin, they definitely want to get their side of the story out, he said in a new YouTube video, story out, 